Hi friends, welcome to Rangazam. Today in this video, we are going to discuss few more questions that were asked in IBPS exam. Please visit our website rankasubindia.com or download our Rankas Hub app for full length courses where you find more than 450 videos related to different competitive exams. Along with that, you find many test series given to you for your practice. Now, let us look into the first question. If you look into the first question, total cost of X pens and X minus 2 pencils is Rs. 424. If one pencil and one pen cost Rs. 4 and Rs. 20 respectively, then find X. Now let's see how can we answer this question in a single step. All of you understand the question carefully. If you can understand the question carefully, solving this question, you can do it in a single step. Total cost of X pens. So there are X pens and X minus 2 pencils. So you can clearly see here the number of pencils are 2 less than the number of pens. And he is saying that and the total cost is 424. If one pencil and one pen cost rupees 4 and rupees 20 respectively. So each pencil cost 4 rupees and each pen cost 20 rupees. Then he is asking us to find what is the value of x. Now if you see carefully here, generally what students do is they try to write down the equation saying that each pencil cost 4 rupees. So there are x minus 2 pencils, 4 into x minus 2 plus 20 into x the number of pens which is equal to 424 definitely you will get the answer but think in a different way how simple you can answer this question see here all of you if i say here there are x pens and x minus 2 pencils so if i say there are two more pencils extra definitely the total cost also should increase by how many rupees each pencil cost four rupees so when i am adding two more pencils total cost should increase by 2 into 4, 8 rupees. Then the cost of X pens and X pencils, the cost of X pens and X pencils together should be 424 plus I am adding 2 pencils extra. So 2 into 4 that is 8. This is all you have to do it orally. For you to understand I am writing on the board. But all these calculations should be done in your mind. Then only you can save a lot of time. Because as far as competitive exam is concerned, how quickly you can answer the question matters. It's not about how you answer the questions. Answering the question, anyone can do it. But how quickly you can answer matters. Now here, expense and expenses totally cost 432. Now what is the cost of one pen and one pencil? One pencil is 4 rupees, one pen is 20 rupees. So if I take one pen and one pencil, together they cost 24 rupees. So X pens and X pencil should cost 24 into X, which should be equal to 432. So X value is nothing but 432 divided by 24. So 8 threes, 8 fives are 40, 32, 8 fours are 32, 3 ones, 3 18s. So x value is equal to 8. So this is how you need to think to answer this question. Here all these calculations if you can do it orally your single step answer will be directly 432 divided by 24. So all of you think like this. So remember a point all of you solving problem is not important. How quickly you solve a problem is important without using formulas. Mostly try to avoid formulas. Now, let us see the second question here. The market price of an article is rupees 250 more than the cost price of that article and it is sold at a discount of 15% on marked price. Find the cost price of the article if the profit percentage earned is 27.5%. So here you can clearly see this question is based upon the chapter profit and loss now here if you want the basic of this profit and loss whenever you download our app you find more than 240 minutes of videos in that app along with that in that you have more than 
more than 150 questions discussed on different models related to profit and loss. Now, let us see this particular question. Now, discount is generally calculated on which price? Discount is always calculated on marked price and profit percentage is always calculated on cost price. Now, here he is saying that he is selling the article after offering a discount of 15%. 15% on which price? Marked price. Now, if there is a discount of 15%, so I can clearly say 85% of marked price is the selling price of that article and by selling that article he is getting a profit of 27.5 percent that means the same selling price is also equal to 127.5 percent of cost price because profit is always calculated on cost price now i am going to find out the ratio of marked price and cost price for simple calculation so marked price by cost price will be equal to 127.5 by 85. I am ignoring this percentage because they get cancelled. Now if I remove this decimal, definitely I have to write a 0 here. Now divide with 25. 25, 3 is a 75, 10, 100, 25, 4 is a 100, 25, 5 is a 125, again 25, 25 ones. Now here, 17 twos, 17 threes. So the marked price and the cost price of that article are in the ratio of 3 is to 2. And clearly he is saying that the marked price of the article is 250 rupees more than the cost price. That means the difference in the marked price and cost price is 250 rupees. Which is how many parts here? It is one part. So one part equal to 250 rupees. What is the price that is asked us to find? We are asked to find the cost price of the article. So cost price of the article is nothing but two parts. If one part is 250, obviously two parts should be equal to 500. So the cost price of the article here is 500. So the correct answer for this question would be 500. See how easy we could answer this question. So if you know the basic of this chapter, definitely you will be able to answer the question not taking more than 15 to 20 seconds. Let us see the third question. In year 2016, ratio of boys to girls in a school is 36 is to 19 and in the year 2017 number of boys is increased by 1440 and the number of girls is increased by 15 percent if in the year 2017 there was a total increase of 1725 students then find increase the number of boys in the school now what do you mean by increase the number of boys in the school after increasing that is we want how many boys were there in the school in the year 2017 that is the question don't get confused by this increase number already it is given that number of boys is increased by 1440 so why why is he asking again the number increased number of boys here there is a difference 1440 is the number of boys who are increased that is the difference but here find the increased number of boys that means this is after increasing by 1440 what is the new number of boys in the school this is a question now this is a question from percentages now we know that percentages is a very important topic so in our app we have more than 220 minutes of videos related to percentages where almost all the models are discussed related to percentages where using the concept of percentages we you can see how easily you can answer this question in a very simple way any question related to percentages can be answered in a simple way not talking not taking more than 20 seconds those methods are used in those videos you can see an example here how quickly we can answer this question now here the total increase of number of students is 1725. So 1725 is the total increase and the, in that the number of boys who increases 1440. So if I find the difference here 12 minus 4 8 6 minus 4 2. Now tell me what is this 285. Definitely this 285 is nothing but the increased number of girls that is number of girls the new girls who joined the school is 285 in the year 2017 which is 
15% of the girls in 2016. So 15% of girls is 285. How much is 100%? Try to find out the total number of girls in the school. So 100%. So 100 into 285 by 15. So you can see here 15 ones. 15 ones are 15, 135, 15 nines. So it is 1900. So the number of girls in the year 2016 is 1900. And we know that the number of boys and number of girls in the year 2016 are in the ratio of 36 is to 19. So if the girls are 1900, definitely the boys should be 3600. You can see the ratio, 3600. Now boys increased by how much? 1440 so 3600 plus 1440 will give us the answer 0405 so it is 5040 so the number the increased number of boys in the school will be 5040 this 5040 is nothing but the total number of boys present in the school in the year 2017 so you can see how quickly we, we are able to answer this question let us see question number four. At what rate will a sum of rupees 1000 amount to rupees 1102.50 in two years at compound interest? So here we are given the principal. The principal is rupees 1000 and we are given the amount which is 1102.50. We are also given the time period which is two years and we are asked to find what is the rate of interest now here many students they try to apply the formula a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n and try to answer the question where you will find difficulty in calculation cancelling the values and minimizing it so let's see how to tell the answer for this question by options in a very simple way so what is the principle here these all we should not write but for you to understand i am writing here Principal is nothing but 1000 rupees. Amount is nothing but 1102.50. So, what is the interest earned in that two years? The interest earned in that two years is 1102.50 minus 1000, which is 102.50. Now, how to answer this question in a very simple way? Definitely to answer the question in a very simple way. We must be knowing how is the compound interest calculated in a very simple way without using a formula. If suppose the first option is 6.5%, we know that simple interest and compound interest for the first year will be calculated on the principal. What is 6.5% of 1000? 6.5% of 1000 is nothing but 650 rupees. No, 6.5% of 1000 is how much? It is not 650, it is 65 rupees. So, 65 rupees will be the interest for the first year. Definitely for the second year, it should be 65 plus something. So, if I add this, definitely it is more than the interest earned. That is 102.5. But here I am getting 130. So, 6.5% is a wrong answer. So, definitely you might be under getting a logic here that the rate of interest should be less than 6.5%. Now the second option, 6%. Now what is 6% of 1000? 6% of 1000 is nothing but 60. So first year it is 60, second year it will be 60 plus something, which is nothing but 6% of 60. So here 60 plus 60 itself is 120, which is more than the interest here. So this is also a wrong answer. Now the third option, 5.5%. Now what is 5.5% 5 .5 of 1000? 5.5% of 1000 is nothing but 55. 55 plus 55 you can clearly see it is 110 so definitely this is also a wrong answer the next option 5 percent now what is 5 percent of 1000 5 percent of 1000 is nothing but 50 so second year it should be 50 so 50 plus 50 is 100 so definitely this may be the answer but what is the second year interest first year interest is 50 second year interest will be 50 plus 5 percent of 50 what is 10 percent of 50 10% is nothing but dividing a value with 10. So 10% of 50 is 5. What is 5% of 50? Half of it, which is 2.5. So plus 2.5. So clearly you can see that totally the interest is 102.5. So the correct answer for this question would be 5%. So if you want to tell the answer through options, 
यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्विक इन कैलकुलेशन इफ यू आर वेरी क्विक इन कैलकुलेशन डेफिनेटली सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम वी कैन आंसर थ्रू ऑप्शन नाउ लेट एस सी द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन द रेशियो बिटवीन द प्रेजेंट एजेस ऑफ पी एंड क्यू इज थ्री इज टू फोर सो द प्रेजेंट एजेस ऑफ पी एंड क्यू इज इन द रेशियो ऑफ थ्री इज टू फोर सो पी इज टू क्यू एट प्रेजेंट इज थ्री इज टू फोर नाउ फोर इयर्स हेंस दट इज आफ्टर फोर इयर्स क्यू विल बी फाइव इयर्स ओल्डर दैन पी so after 4 years he is saying that the age of q will be 5 years more than p now here the question is what is the present age of p now you need not require a pen to answer this question orally we can tell the answer for this question now think about the question what i ask you right now what is that that remains constant between the ages of two persons always now if i talk about two persons let's suppose the age difference between you and me is 10 years now definitely after 5 years also will the difference between our ages change no it will be the same so the difference in age of two persons that is between two persons will always remain same so here after 4 years if q will be 5 years older than p definitely at present also q is 5 years older than p it means that the difference in ages of p and q always it will be 5 years so at present also the difference in their ages is 5 years hope all of you got the answer by now the difference is one part which is 5 years now i want three parts 3 5 are 15 years so the present age of p will be 15 years many students they fear that you have to write equations while solving the questions in problems on ages no it's not always true there will be some problems if you can understand the questions easily definitely you can answer the questions orally also thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe to our channel rangasam